Hey traders, let's go over the top flow of the day. Not the prettiest day as you have the NASDAQ down around 1.5%. Look at those cues, how ugly they look. And I have been making notice of the uh, move lower in the Russell 2000, which has been pretty concerning. Uh, why? Because the Russell makes up of the boring banks, uh, especially regional banks, just are in the crapper again, uh, and energy stocks. So energy caught you know, that one day pop, but even they're fading here. Luckily, I do have some puts like in Citigroup um, that are doing well. I had some puts in Kroger that uh, did extremely well, but very small size. So lost some money today. Yes, real traders do have red days, and I'll show it here. Down around $2,700, so not a fun day after uh, crushing it the past couple weeks. So not fun there. I had some short day to weekly options that I just, you know, uh, took the loss today. I'm going to the beach this afternoon, so don't want to keep staring at the uh, the phone, checking out you know if, if the market's bouncing or anything. But nasty tape. What are we seeing again? Just more short term uh, option flow. We have some Nvidia. You see here some of the 260 puts uh, coming in today. Had some uh, 265 puts this morning. Some calls, obviously. Uh, a name like the video, you're going to have tons of option activity, especially when the stock's down 10 bucks. So, uh, you know, more just day trading. And that's what I should have done uh, yesterday and, and Monday. I should have day traded, not hold positions overnight when the market uh, was trending lower, right? Should not have held longs. So I thought we were going to bounce. Never happened. Short holiday week, Friday uh, uh, market holiday, just no volume. Uh, seeing some version. Galactic, I think they're going bankrupt. I saw an article, Sir Richard Brunson. Uh, more puts. They've been hammering puts in this name, but just too long dated for me. I, I'm not a big fan of you know January expiration, but obviously uh, a piece of junk stock there. Some of the gold names, those calls, nice uh, payoff there. Some GFI, Jan 24 expiration, the 25 strike call, so that's about $10 out the money. AU, we saw some good flow yesterday. That stock's up. 4%, another gold uh, name right there. And uh, those AI, man, that AI put buyer just continuing to crush it. These AI puts, we saw um, uh, some of the 25s. And then on fr uh, earlier in this week, we saw some of the weekly 29 and 30 puts. Those puts, the 29 puts, they bought at 50 cents. They're now 710 bid. And the 30 puts are 810. And I think they bought those around. Uh, 95 cents. So that short seller, uh, God, they were so right there. So not the best day. You are going to have red days. I know that. But next week, we'll look to bounce back, see if we could get some big flow. Because really today, look how small the flow is. Some Nike puts, but even small, Tesla small, some FRC, you know, the bank, 350 grand of puts right there. Finally, something uh, out there. But I really want to see these half million dollar, million dollar orders to uh, you know, where I can start trading some size and start getting aggressive and let me know like, hey, there's some big money behind the moves because like I said right now, just a uh, very low volume sell off in the queues and really just, uh, you know, really just boring tape that, uh, you know, go to the beach, go on the boat, go out to lunch, get away from the screens and I'll be doing that in about an hour or two. I'm out.